community has just been so happy to see this house come back to life. After years of fundraising, planning and construction, a historic building on ULS campus is ready for the next chapter. Good evening and thanks for joining us everyone. The J. Arthur Roy House is the oldest building on ULS campus, but over the years it fell into disrepair. That is until a community driven effort to restore the Roy was launched in 2018 and tonight the work is complete. Our Jim Hummel joining us live from outside the Roy House with his story. Jim. Marcel, good evening. The Roy House behind me was completed in 1901. It is the only university structure that's listed on the National Register of Historic Places. And now the hope is that all the recent renovations will ensure that it remains an important part of campus for generations to come. It's really the only building that's still standing at the university from the, the university's original campus. Over 122 years, the J. Arthur Roy House has been witness to the history of UL. I had a chance to tour the newly renovated building with Dr. Joshua Caffrey, the director of UL Center for Louisiana Studies. One of the earliest photos of the university, and it's actually taken from the Roy House balcony. Oh, really? Yeah. That view then and now. So much has changed, but time also had an effect on the Roy House. It was a bit of a mess. Uh, there were some people housed and officed in the downstairs. Uh, a lot of the floors were carpeted. You couldn't really see these beautiful floors. And over the years, it had fallen into a bit of disrepair. Dr. Caffrey tells me about $1.5 million went into the renovation. There was a bit of rot um, in some of the structure because there's a, there are a couple of trees that, that bring in a lot of moisture. And, uh, and so we had, we had to level the house, so we actually had to jack up the entire house, uh, fix some of the rotted pillars. Uh, we had to fix some of the rotted spindles. And now, a fresh start in more ways than one. The Roy House will now be home for the Center for Louisiana Studies. We're a, an archive and a publisher, uh, but really we're interested in, in interfacing with the public and being kind of an interface for the, for the, for the campus and the, the humanities at UL with the public. The first floor features space for book talks, lectures, and even a storefront to showcase more than 300 books published under UL Press. We've just been had a lot of people who are just extremely happy to see it come back to life, and, and that, of course, makes us very, very proud, you know, and, and very, very happy to, to be doing this. Yeah. And really all that's left is the landscaping here outside the Roy House. And Dr. Caffrey tells me a ribbon cutting ceremony is being planned for later this spring. We're live in Lafayette tonight on the campus of UL. Jim Hummel, KATC TV3.